All right, you're on. All right. Well, welcome to Fun Facts for the Saints. I hope you're all doing well. And today we have a very special guest, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. So growing up, I, I had a very short life. I only lived for 24 years. But in that life, I dedicated myself to caring for the poor and the sick and the needy. And even though I was a princess and I soon became a queen after I had an arranged marriage with a husband that I really loved, um, I still lived a life of simplicity and humility and I took care of those that were in need and yeah. Um, so what, what do you mean when you said, I'm preparing for my judgment? So when I said that it was, um, many people were telling me that I shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't take care of so many people and I should make sure I focus on myself because I was always around the sick, which means I could have gotten sick myself. And so when I said that, uh, when I'm preparing or I'm preparing for my judgment is I was, when Jesus is to come and he's to look at my life, I want to tell him, yes, I cared for when, um, I fed those who were hungry and I clothed those who were uh, needed clothes, and I um, visited those who were sick and in need, um, because Jesus said that when we care for the poor, we're caring for him, so I wanted him to look at my life and realize that I did those works because of my love for him and my love for his people. Why did you build a hospital after your husband died? So my husband died from a fever because he was called back to war only three years after we were married. Um, so I was left with the money and our country was, there was famine and flooding and the plague was going around and I saw all of that. So I wanted to use my money for good. So I went around and I bought food and I gave clothes and then I built the hospital for those who were uh, suffering from malnutrition and from those who are suffering from the plague because I wanted to help those because that's what my husband suffered from too. Um, is there anything else you want to share? Um, so St. Elizabeth uh, is often depicted with roses and this is because one of her miracles. So she was going out and she had a bunch of bread hidden in her uh, clothes and she was going to feed the, the poor and the hungry. And so uh, her husband caught her and he's asked her, you know, what are you carrying? That's so heavy. And when she opened up her, ro or her robe, it was roses instead, a, uh, instead of bread. And so that was one of her miracles. And later on after she died, uh, there were uh, miracles of healing that happened at her grave, so. Yep, she, le she lived a life that was for the people. And even though she was a princess and a queen, she could have had a life so lavish and so wonderful, but she, she dedicated it to those that were in need. Well, I have a prayer here we're gonna end with. Okay, so uh, let's do the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Oh God, you taught St. Elizabeth to recognize and serve Christ and the poor. Grant through her intercession, then we may always lovingly serve the needy and the oppressed. Amen. Amen. Other than the Holy Spirit. Well, thank you for joining us on Fun Facts for the Saints. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, St. Elizabeth. <laughs>